Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today we are in the city Paxa and we are just about to begin our motorbike journey. It's going to be a loop around Bolaven Plateau and we'll be passing through some very authentic villages, waterfalls. Uh, we're only taking my bike. We're taking um, just the essentials for this three or four days journey. Yeah, wish us luck and I'll see you on the road. What a wonderful world. What a wonderful world. Now on the way to our first attraction on our motorbike journey, waterfall number one. And now it starts to look like a proper jungle. I've got a question, Idoya. Why there is nobody here? <laughs> Look at this place. It's absolutely amazing. What? What a wonderful world. So we just saw the waterfall number one. There are three waterfalls, one, two and three. We are now going to see the number two and three. Going into the jungle. So pretty in the sky, are also on the faces of people. Okay, I think it's the end of the trail. Um, the, um, the waterfall two and three are the small ones located right next to the, the big one, number one. Four, number two. And the water no, waterfall number three. Now the idea is to go tubing. What a wonderful world. Now we're on the way to yet another waterfall, which is probably located about four or five kilometers from the, the very first one that we saw. Bear in mind, for each waterfall complex, you have to pay an admission fee. For the first one, we paid 5,000 each, and now we pay 25 for both of us, so 12.5 each. And We are only two hours into our motorbike journey and be amazed. I mean just just take a look at that. This is absolutely stunning. I have never seen anything like that in my life. It's definitely the highest waterfall I've ever seen. It's just unbelievable. So essentially what it is, it's just a, it's just a viewing point here. Oh, that's, that's sweet, seriously. This is the third stop on our motorbike adventure and we're here to see more waterfalls. For this one we paid 13,000 kip, which is a um, little bit less than the last one, but the last one was absolutely incredible. The waterfall was beautiful. This one is uh, definitely smaller. Still quite cute though.
water is slightly cold. Slightly? Even for me. It's pretty cold. Okay. So I think we have to just do it very quickly. Just fucking go like this? Just go like this, yeah. Okay. If you want to enjoy the raft with those kids, uh, that will cost you 10,000. Or you can just go swimming, I like guess. And I'm trying to convince Hidoya now to go with me and swim just there. Just there in the middle. Okay, fine. Yay! Well, there and back, yes. Yeah. Through my shadow, through the sun rays, and we'll go through the wastelands, through the highways, and on and on. That was awesome. After taking a swim in a waterfall pond, I'm feeling so nice and refreshed but hungry so we decided to get some <coughs> get some lunch here before heading over to Pak Song and I think Pak Song is where we're going to stay overnight we haven't got anything booked we just know that we're gonna spend about three maybe four days on this doing this loop and we haven't got any accommodations booked I guess we'll end up staying in a guest house or I don't even know. I don't know. It, it's too beautiful here to worry about those things. You know you're in Lao when you can't tell the difference between a spider and an ant. This is huge. Huge. Well, so, uh, you know, bad things happen to good people like me. And uh, my sunglasses broke again. So I, I came up with a, a temporary solution, got a straw and I've created a prosthetic arm for my sons. Let's go. We're about to see the third waterfall today. <laughs> come here, come here. Here, this is the cover. And this is uh, this is my new girlfriend. <laughs> Wave. Look to the camera. Go there. Yes. I cannot get you there. Dun, dun, That's dun, dun. it. You see? Hi. Twenty-five. Twenty-five. Yeah. Twenty-five for both of us. Yes. For for one people ten, but buy five. Okay. So we're paying twenty-five thousand kip and ten thousand for each person and five for a motorbike. There you go, a monkey! What type of monkey is that? He's in the cage. You are a sad little monkey, aren't you? Just on his own. No friends. Sucking on the, on the thumb. <laughs> Shit. I wasn't expecting he grabbed me. He and he scratched me a little bit. He grabbed me. The Have you seen that? <laughs> you went too close. That's okay. I still love you. That's exactly how I was imagining Laos, just like this. Pure jungle and a waterfall. This is number four and the last stop on our waterfall exploring motorbike journey day number one look at this beautiful tree oh, 
loving the jungle. <laughs> I would also like to mention that the temperature here in the plateau is very nice and pleasant. I think it's around 25, 26, which is just amazing. I mean, you don't, you don't sweat, you don't get tired as quickly. Big, big advantage of this place. All right, so we made it. We are in the guest house. We only paid 80,000 kip for that, which is about eight pounds or $10. Looks pretty good. Nice, uh, nice beds. Yeah. Pretty clean. The bathroom as well. Basic, basic. But the good thing, the good thing is, you don't need air conditioning because it's nice and cold in here, isn't it? Yeah. It was actually quite cold on the way, so we had to put some some warm clothes on, like this jumper, and I was still cold. So, quick tip: bring enough warm clothes. Don't underestimate. The hot weather down in Paxa. For now I'm signing off, I will see you guys tomorrow. Um, this is going to be our second day of the motorbike journey and also tomorrow, probably tonight, we're going to decide whether we're going to do a big loop, small loop or go somewhere else. From now on I'm signing off and we are now going to have dinner with the uh, people that we met and bye. In the jungle, the mighty jungle, the lion sleeps too.